uh, we have seen all the functional entities in RSCF which are uh, uh, going to be working together to bring about quality of service based uh, service provisioning to the user uh, for certain uh, flow, a multimedia flow or simply a voice call. So we are going to look at now how exactly uh, this uh, QoS is translated from policy decision uh, taking the path from the SCF to PD to PE to uh, uh, TC uh, uh, traffic control uh, resource uh, and then traffic control um, uh, enforcement. So we will start with this uh, understanding of how this translation or binding takes place. Uh, as we already know that uh, the enforcement actually means uh, apply the requirements coming from above um, uh, after having understood them in terms of the parameters that the network understands. So this is known as binding. Performing binding of a request from a user flow actually means uh, to take very important and uh, intelligent decision that does not choke the network, that does not uh, disrupt existing um, ongoing connections and that yet meets the requirements coming in this particular request. So uh, here uh, uh, the concept of token is introduced. This is known as the authorization token. Authorization token actually means it's a go ahead coming from uh, uh, the processing of all these functional entities. Uh, so the authorization tokens are basically uh, the permission grants uh, which are uh, uh, logged for subsequent billing and charging at a later stage. Uh, so uh, the uh, policy decision functional entity generates the tokens uh, when it gets a request from the SCF above and this, this token takes uh, into account certain uh, identifiers which are going to determine uh, the requirement, uh, the network elements which are going to be used and the QS parameters which would be translated. So uh, the token actually is the domain in which this uh, uh, enforcement has to be uh, implemented. Then the resource for which this uh, uh, binding is going to take place. Uh, now, the resource actually is going to be utilized for a certain QS uh, requirement for, for some media flow. It means the resource is going to become more and more busy. It means the uh, resource control session ID is going to determine for how long a resource is going to stay tied up for um, a certain uh, flow. And till that time, the resource is not uh, relieved or it is not uh, spared, additional uh, requests for the uh, media flow QS requirements can be uh, denied or delayed. 